college, I started reading because I no longer had to. And then I started to swim, bike, and run and do triathlons. So then I started to read about triathlons and read books by triathletes. But I was a little disappointed. A lot of the books seemed superficial, full of platitudes like strive to be your best. And I found myself searching for more. So I started to journal and write and journal. And I was surprised at how much was spewing out onto the page. So I kept writing and then I took a writer's workshop. And one of our tasks was to come up with a one sentence argument for what it is you were writing about. What I came up with was, the Ironman triathlon is easy, but it's the rest of life that's difficult. And it just stuck with me. Because here I was doing all these things, but I was still no happier. I had done 5K races, 10K, half marathon, and then a full marathon. And then I switched over to doing triathlons. So I did a sprint triathlon. I did a, when there was Olympic level, Olympic distance triathlon. Then I did a half Ironman, and I did a full Ironman. And all I was left with was a bunch of cheap medals, and I was still no happier. I don't have an English degree. I haven't published a book before, but something I do know is that some of the best stories come from real life. And I'm really proud of what I've put down on paper. I think it's something that, no matter who you are, it's a struggle we all have to try and find ourselves. And for me, it was through triathlons and Ironmans. Other people, it's other things. But I really believe it's something that people will enjoy reading they'll be able to identify to it, and maybe even learn something on their journey. Consider my manuscript, you won't be sorry. <laughs>